If you've walked through Riverfront Park recently, it honestly almost doesn't feel like we're in the middle of a pandemic, but we still are, and our local food trucks and street vendors are taking steps to keep you safe. Some familiar summer sights are back in Riverfront Park. People playing music, walking their dogs, picnicking, and looking for a quick place to grab a bite. Employees inside this Kona ice truck told us they came back out when Spokane County moved to phase two, and they're using masks, social distancing, gloves, and hand sanitizer to safely serve customers. We have had a steady pace every day that we've been open, and so I think we're doing pretty well, but if we weren't able to open, um, it would definitely be detrimental towards the business. Across the street, Spokane Dogs is also out serving hungry families with a bit more hand sanitizer than before. Owner Robert Hetner said he lost about 50% of his business for the year when he closed down for COVID, but he's pleasantly surprised at how good business is these days. What I have seen is people do have a lot of pent up demand. They want to be outside, they want to be doing things, and it's going relatively well. But aside from these two, there aren't many other food trucks or stands to be seen in the park. Hetner thinks that's because it costs a good bit of money to operate a food truck. And if you don't have a guaranteed crowd from a parade or a festival, that's a risky business gamble. This summer may look different because of the pandemic, but Hetner says he and other street vendors will keep pushing through to safely keep doing business, even if that push doesn't come back as profit. I will be okay. Okay, that's, that's at this year, we're looking at this as a survival year. If I pay all my bills and I'm not in debt, this would be excellent for me. Both Kona Ice and Spokane Dogs told me they're going to be back out in Riverfront Park doing business throughout the summer. Now, there are some other food trucks doing business in and around Spokane. So if you see one, remember, they're trying to keep their business afloat, too. For now in the newsroom, Noelle Lashley, back to you.